What is new in junior cycle science? Um, well, there's certainly a bigger emphasis on, on how the actual students learn now, the process of learning as opposed to just simply a, 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 an involvement or an engagement with content. That would be a very big change. Um, also, of course, this uh, new junior science, uh, junior science uh, specification is in the midst of reform in junior cycle across the board, and we would feed into the eight key skills that are uh, uh, mentioned in that process. Um, specific to science, you are going to be looking at uh, 46 learning outcomes across the five strands, uh, including the overarching nature of science strand. Um, there will also be big changes in assessment. Uh, nothing that teachers haven't been involved in all up to this point. Um, you've got your formative assessment, which would happen on a day-to-day -day basis, and you've got your summative assessment as well, which will involve a uh, final exam, like we mentioned earlier on, common to all students, and will happen at the end of third year, and it will be a common level paper. So there are changes, but all of this is supported uh, by our package catalyst uh, via the teacher's resource book. Um, you've also got um, lots of online material on Educate Plus, um, and we'd like to think that we've most of the bases covered to give you an opportunity to present something to students that is engaging, that they'll enjoy, and also as a teacher you'll be well supported through the changes that are coming up.